Welcome family. It's grandma's bean soup recipe day. Yep, I, ha I have a video on my channel with bean soup, but this is my grandma's recipe. It's just a little bit different, so we're going to do that. And we have new family members, new subscribers, so welcome to the family. So let's make bean soup. Grandma's recipe. Okay, I have about a pound and a half of Great Northern Beans that I soaked overnight. And I'm going to add those. And I'm going to add some water. And I also have some onions that I'm sauteing here. I just wanted them sauteed before I threw them in there. And I'm going to add this ham concentrate. I'm going to add a couple packets of that. Um, she's freaking out. See, I don't know if you can see her. She's un she wants to be under my feet here. Move. She just the military bases in training, and they're making noises. Okay, now I'm going to add, I'm going to turn this on, I just want to get it boiling, and then I will simmer the beans until they're not quite done, but partially done, and then I'll be adding my other ingredients. I got a nice ham bone that I got at the, at the meat market, and I've also got a couple ham hocks that I want to throw in there. Keep an eye on this. To, I might be, you know, I need to add more water. So now I'm going to add just a little bit of garlic, about a teaspoon, half a teaspoon of garlic to my onions here. I have to cook with you right between my legs there, little girl. Hey, you have to move. I have to get close to the stove. I know, sweetheart. You can sit on my foot. That's fine. But I'm going to add these onions and garlic here. Keep an eye on it while it gets going here. Okay, we'll let that come to a boil and then I'll be cutting, you know, I'll cut the temperature down a little bit. Got my potatoes here. So let's see if this works. Yep, and this um, thing works so good. I've got about five potatoes cut up here. Best thing I ever invested in, I think. Oops, that went flying. 
One less half a potato, that's all right. My dog does not like potatoes. There we go. Okay, there, now I'm going to put these back in the water here. I'm going to let these soak in water until they're ready to go into the soup, which won't be till later. Okay, now... I'm going to see if I can get some carrots done here. They're baby carrots, so it should be easier. We'll see. Yep. Look how easy that is. Oh, that one fell in. The amount of what kind of vegetables, onion, or it, it's up to you. It's how, how you like it. If you like carrots, you can add a lot of carrots. It's okay, baby. They're just booing. They're training. They're shooting out their artillery. It's not thunder. It's not coming to get you. You're safe here. Remember, we have angels that live here. God's angels protect us over everything. You're safe. I think that's what I'm all I'm gonna do with the I, let me see here. And I'll give it a couple more. It's okay, baby girl. I'm gonna give you some C B D oil, I think. No, she's not panting too hard yet, so I'm gonna wait. She seems to be because it's not a constant thing, so and they will stop. They, um, it actually rained a little bit more this morning. The other day when it was raining, it didn't rain for very long. I think we got 0 .01 of an inch. But this morning, it looks like it's it's been um, a light rain for about an hour now. So that's a good sign. Okay, now I'm not going to cut myself on that. Okay, we're going to check this. Okay, it's good, boiling good. Now I'm going to turn it down. I'm going to kick the heat down a little bit. And let it, let it cook. Okay, this is looking really good. So now I'm going to add... I'm going to add my carrots and my potatoes. I'll crank up the heat on that again. And I'm also going to add a can of beef broth. And it's full. And then I'm going to let those cook a little bit and then we'll take out the 
ham bone and the ham hocks and get the meat off of those. And then that'll take this, some space out of there too. It'll go down a little bit. I'm gonna add a little pepper. I don't add bay leaf. That's not the way I grew up with it, so. We got some good flavors going on here. All right, I'm gonna let this um, get to a boil. All right, we're gonna give this a stir. It's looking really good. The potatoes and carrots are almost done. I'm gonna let it cook a little while longer, but I'm going to take out the meat now. All right, now we're gonna do our best to get this in pieces without burning ourselves. There's a lot of meat on this. Oh, this is, these were good ham, ham bones. Plenty of meat on them and you get the flavor. Oh, and they weren't that expensive. I can't remember how much the ham bones were, but I was excited because you know what? It's not real. When you don't have a regular place, a meat place that specializes in meat and store, you can't find stuff like ham bones. Ham hocks I can get at Walmart, but I'd rather get them at the meat market. I'm going to get some good ones. Okay, this one, this is just mostly... Looks like it's got mostly gristle on this. There might be some meat there. Yeah. Okay, that's done. So a little bit of meat here. Okay, I'm going to put this bone right here so get that out of the way. That in there. There's some carrots and potatoes that got loose. Trying to escape. Okay, let's get this. Oh, this is hot, hot, hot. Gotta be careful. This is the part that uh, can be pretty painful. Doesn't look there's like as much meat on this one, but flavor is what we wanted. There's some meat. Oh yeah, here, there's, there's some good meat here. That's a big chunk, look at that. That's a nice chunk. And I will be cutting that. Let's see here. Some meat there. Some meat there. It looks like it's all. Oh, all right, and get my trusty scissors out here. Cut this up. There, I think we got it. I think we got it all. Let's get back to the soup here. Let's put. I just want to double check, make sure there's no bones in here. Good. I'm going to add the meat back. Oh, look at that. That looks so good. 
Okay, and I had set aside some of the broth for moments like this when you add it to it. Because I don't like it real brothy, but I don't like it. See, this is the way I like it. Pretty thick. Now I'm going to turn this on way down on low and just let it simmer together for just singing together a chorus of flavor. And now for the most important part, this is where the German come in, vinegar. I do like that extra tang. Just regular white vinegar. Okay, now we're gonna let that simmer together for just a little while and then, and then it'll be done. Okay, this is done. So this took, let's see, It took about three hours altogether. No biggie. And it's something that you don't have to be standing at the stove for the whole three hours. So, But you do have to keep an eye on and stir it. Um, I stirred it about every half an hour. And I like it thick. Like I said, if you don't like it thick, you can add more broth. Now is the taste test. See if I remember, see if I make my grandma proud of me. Well, let's try it. So thanks for joining me today for my grandma's recipe of bean soup with ham. I'm going to try it. It's hot. Very flavorful. Lots of ham flavor in this. I'm going to add a little more vinegar because I like a lot of vinegar in it. So, But I usually do that after so that nobody, in case everybody else doesn't like it. So yeah, if you, um, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe, like, share comment if you want and um, I hope you try this soup it's very good and very healthy for you so we'll see you next time for something different and remember stay busy and serve others bye for now